the breadcrumbs module allows you to publish or unpublish breadcrumbs on your website and breadcrumbs let your users know where they are on your website at any given time your template might come with a breadcrumb position as part of the design or you can reposition those breadcrumbs based on your module map uh, wherever you like so on the top left here we've got the title of the breadcrumbs module we can choose to show this title or not typically you don't show that title but that's up to you uh, you've got a position you can also retitle this to something else and then choose to show it if that works in for your website you can assign the position as to where you'd like the breadcrumbs to show up we can we need to set the status for it is it published or not the access level who sees the breadcrumbs the ordering of those breadcrumbs in that position the module position we can start the publishing date we can set a finished publishing date We've got uh, the language set to all by default. We can add our, give ourselves a note. We have the item ID, and we've got the module description that says this module displays breadcrumbs. Pretty straightforward. So down here at the bottom here on the bottom left under menu assignment, we can choose to show these on very specific pages on our website. We can show them on all of them, which currently you'll notice that it's showing on all pages, or we can come here and say, you know what, let's clear that on no pages and then choose only on selected pages. So I only want the breadcrumbs to show up on specific pages. Like for instance, when they get deep into the site, I might want to only show breadcrumbs on these internal pages that are two layers deep. Uh, so folks can know where they are and quickly get back to stuff. Um, you can clear that selection by, you can select all by clicking select all. You can clear the selection and you can toggle the selection for instance by saying don't select those three and you notice that it deselected or unselected the three that I had selected and selected everything else and I can clear that selection by clicking clear selection and also add it to different areas of the site and different menus or different pages rather throughout the site and have those breadcrumbs show up on the top right here we have basic options so you can show you are here yes or no you can show home shows some sort of a home element in the pathway you can say no nah, I don't show home if you wanted to show home you can change the text to say whatever you want home page front page whatever you like you're going to show the last this is going to show or hide the last element in the pathway so it'll show them at the page that they're on uh, versus the page that they were just on uh, or the page that they yeah that, that just came from the text separator here says uh, you, well, sometimes you can separate your breadcrumbs with a pipe um, a vertical pipe like that or a comma or a couple of arrows or two dashes or underscore dashes with an arrow you can get creative and put whatever you want in here uh, and it will render that between the pages and then the advanced options we've got is there an alternative layout available you can apply a module class suffix to this module um, based on your template settings uh, that your design comes with and you can affect the caching of this spe specific module as well. Up at the top right, we've got save, save and close, save and new, and save as copy. If you click save, it's going to leave you on this page, and it'll save the changes so you can go to another tab and refresh it and see what they did, how it affected your layout. You can hit save and close. That's going to save the item and close this page. Save and new is going to save this item and leave you here for to create a new module. And then save as copy. You can copy this specific breadcrumbs module. Uh, if need be, and then we can close the item here. So, thanks.